I'm Bill Woolsey with the 5-2 Network, and I am here tonight with a great guy, Kurian Baby Cuddy. Kurian, uh, welcome. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you so much for having me. Now, now Kurian, you, you come to us through some relationships that we have. We met you. We knew about you. And he just talks trash the whole time, but it's okay. He's a nice guy. Uh, you have an organization. You have a group called 40 Parables. Tell us about 40 Parables, how you got to this point, and why you do what you do. Well, I was in B school, and I felt the Lord saying, you need to come and serve my kingdom. And I didn't know how to spell the kingdom. <laughs> and in a few years, uh, I began something called 40 Parables. And my point was uh, the ministry world, I felt, was not communicating and telling stories the way that we should have. And it was a little silly because we have the founder of our movement who happens to be the greatest storyteller of all time. And so how the heck are we so bad at storytelling? And so we began 40 Parables to help ministries communicate and tell his story his way. And we felt that if we're saying things better, if we're communicating real stories, we'll be actually seeing lives change the way Jesus mm -hmm. saw lives change in the New Testament. Curry, and how long have you, how long has 40, 40 Parables been around? And, and uh, what, did you do this straight out of business school then? So um, I actually went and worked for a ministry called One Hope based in Florida. I worked with them for a little while and they are massive organizations. So I told them you should start an agency and they're like, you start one. I said, I will. And they said they gave me my first clients. We were blessed uh, for many years with them. Uh, we began this in 2015. Uh, this is going to be our sixth year on November 1st. We'll be six years old. Um, we've learned a ton. We've been, I mean, except for last year was a bit tough with COVID. Every year we were growing really well. Uh, we learned so much. We're trying to, I mean, in order to be one of the ministry folks, you have to spend time with them. You have to be intentional. You have to go th with them through the troughs and the valleys. And uh, the journey has been a really a revelation for us. So it's been six years and blessing. So you started 40 Parables. I have a co-founder. Um, he's in Toronto, but yes. And what, what was the biggest challenge well, let me ask you this what moved you to go from an idea and a thought to actually dude i'm going to do this well i must again give credit to um, the organization i was with uh, one hope they were very supportive and so when i got a chance i was the director of innovation there when i got a chance to, to walk with them and see how ministries are doing marketing or sometimes not doing marketing well enough um, i want to be honest uh, so i talked to them and they gave me some freedom and so when i began this they were supportive they gave me opportunities client work uh, the names the word spread around, we got more folks. So in, in the course of the first couple of years, I mean, after B-School, I spent a couple of years working with them. Um, and so we have long-term projects with them. So they, they give me leeway, time, freedom, um, the ability to help them create stuff, help them nurture stuff along, everything that marketing is literally about. And so we, we're blessed to have support um, to teach us for early on what it means to be. So, I mean, for anyone listening early on, I would say find the right boss, find the right, just like you find the right boss, Find the right company to start some stuff with. Find the great right partner to begin with, because that will really make a big difference. You know, this is this is so important. People often ask me, uh, you know, how'd you start Crosspoint? And what they they don't often know is it was nine years of being a pastor before I actually took that risk. Right? That was, the, that was your overnight success. That was my o years. my overnight success. Over nine success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and but what I love what you're saying because oftentimes things that are very effective or or uh, you know, they seem to grow. Right. There was a benefactor. There was somebody Always. who believed in them and you and God provided that ground to, for you to get some roots in and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's probably God's way of telling us to always be grateful <laughs> because it's always someone who's helping us for no reason. Some donor wanting to really see something through mm -hmm. someone who doesn't even see it today, but in faith believes that what we're doing will actually make a difference. So I think there's always a reason for us to be grateful to someone in the past. So I've been blessed uh, by One Hope, uh, by many clients. Um, in fact, for we, we, we have zero salespeople, but we did not have a website for three years, four years, if I think right. You're a marketing company with no website. With no That's website awesome. Because <laughs> our principle was if you're, if you're having a website, it better be really good. If you have a bad website, that's horrible. You can always say our website is not ready. You can never say we have a bad website. So we put all our effort in making sure our clients are super happy, and they were our salespeople 24-7. We got mm -hmm. our entire business for the first five years only through referrals. And then we got our website up, I think, in 2019 or tw 2019, 2020, and then people started talking to us directly. So not just even the benefactors, even the guys we're working with. Mm -hmm. Like If we equip mm -hmm. them really well, they do it so well, that the light will shine through for itself. So that's what we've been very grateful for. Uh, that sounds like a wonderful piece of advice for people who are wanting to start and wanting to launch a ministry. 
you, you, what I really heard you say, maybe you could say it better than, than I say it, but you, you really uh, served people well. You gave them, in essence, more value than they thought probably they were going to get, and they couldn't help but tell others about you. Well, one of our, one of our clients, uh, his name is Michael Lucas Duski. He runs Church Fuel in Atlanta. He was our client, and then he referred six clients to us. But four clients, I mean, th four clients he referred to us while he was working. Two clients he referred to us after he stopped working with us. And one of them was a six-digit figure, a massive clientele, like way he's done with us. And so even though he's not my client, I still have conversations with him once a month, once in two months. I follow him on LinkedIn. We chat. I'm, I'm not going to be doing business with him. I mean, he's not going to be a client for a while. But that doesn't stop me from engaging with him. So I'd say even in our clientele, that's the best opportunity for us to find real teachers, real value, where we will grow even if they're not actually working with us. So I'm, like, it was really important to find the right client, the right partner, because one good client can take you 10 leaps forward mm. and one black, bad client can take you 100 feet back. Mm. So I think partnership is really important like we know in the Christian space. Uh, a friend of mine says you can't, you can't repair broken, broken glass. Once the glass is broken, it's hard to, to get that back. And like, so I, I guess those of you who are listening, those of you who are watching, uh, just, just really hear that, that at the end of the day, we're, our ministry, our mission, our business, whatever it is, it's about people. And people can tell when we're trying to use them versus when we're really loving and serving them. Remember, you can't reach someone you hate, and people can sense that right away. So I, I hear you say that. Yeah. Amen. In, in, amen. In fact, I mean, it's not just glass being broken. I feel the problem is, especially in the Christian world, the glass is shattered. And once it's shattered, it ain't coming back. And so really glad to have these five minutes with you. Thankful for even Kenny Jang, who made the connection. Like, me and Kenny, real it, value. That's right. You're Kenny's yeah. friend. Any yeah. friend of Kenny's is my, is my friend, yeah. too. I got to tease you the same way I tease Kenny, right? <laughs> so that's the same value we keep So how would about. you say kalachi? Kalachi. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a kolachi, personally. Yeah. But, sure. what I, what uh, yeah. Kurian, if people would like to get in touch with you, I want to recommend, Kurian, especially those of you who are looking, how do we brand our ministry the, the way that stands out? And then how do we tell our story in compelling, sticky ways? How would they get in touch with you? So typically we'd say go to 40parables.com, find us there. I'd say don't do that. Don't go find our organization, see what we're That is boring. That is 1980s or very close to when Jesus came onto planet Earth. Instead, I write a blog. I write it every single day. It's called Marketing Mana. There's n I sell nothing there. All I want to do is help ministries think and think again. And then if they think a little more, tell them, think one more time. So every day I'm teaching something about marketing. Go check out our blog, see what you think about the way we think about marketing. And if that interests you, just respond to the blog. I reply to every, every subscriber's email every single day. Uh, write to us, think with us first. Don't forget my website, don't even work with us. You see if you like what we're talking about, see if you agree where the kingdom needs to change, and then let's work together if you really feel passionate about making a massive change in the way ministry thinks about marketing. And the name of the blog again? It's My blog is called Marketing Mana. It happens once every day, not on Sundays, because Mana and Chick-fil-A are not available on Sundays. Oh. Um, on Saturdays, we summarize it for the week. It's called Marketing Mana, but I'm on LinkedIn. It's at marketingmana.com. Uh, it's also 40parables.com slash mana. Excellent. Kurian, thank you so much for being with us. No problem. The pleasure is mine. Thank you.